Hi everyone, welcome to I Speak English. I'm Hayley and I'm an English as a foreign language teacher. I've been teaching online for the past three years and I'm here to show you how to work Google Classroom from a student's point of view. So let's take a look at Google Classroom then. Okay, so when you first log in to Google Classroom, it will look like this. You might not have any classes yet, so to join a class, just go up here to your cross button and then you'll have to add in a class code. Now your teacher should send you your class code via email or any other communication tool that you use. So if I go to my teacher's classroom, so this is my view, my teacher view. So you can see this class code here. So your teacher's going to send you this class code through email or whatever communication tool you use. And then when you have the class code and you're back in your Google class, hit join class and then just copy and paste the class code into there and hit join. Okay, and there you go. You're into your Google Classroom. So you have three tabs in your Google Classroom. You've got stream, classwork and people. So your stream is down here. This is kind of like, um, like a Facebook page, sort of. You can just add comments and upload different documents and things. So your teacher's going to use this mainly to communicate to you. So for example, you might have a daily schedule from your teacher here. So anything your teacher puts on here, you can just click on and it will open in a separate window. And if you already have Google Classroom, then you'll already have all of these Google apps as well, like Google Slides and Documents. And I'll show you how to use these in a different video. Let's go back to your classroom then. So not only can your teacher use this to communicate with you, but you can also use this to communicate with your teacher and with the rest of the class as well. So if your teacher puts up the schedule, you can just say, oh, thanks. Um, I'll look at it now and then hit send. And then you've got one class comment and you can see all your class comments here from the other students in your class as well. Um, you can also share something with the class. So you can add different documents or videos that you find funny. Um, or if you're struggling with something, you could say like, is anyone else struggling with the essay? So this is just a way to kind of communicate with everyone in your class when you're not actually in the classroom, which is quite nice. So your other tab is classwork. This is going to be the most important tab because this is where you're going to find all your assignments and all your materials as well. So your, your teacher might have it working in a different way. They might have everything in week two. They might have separate folders. Um, but if you want to see any assignments that you need to do, go to the top of the page and go view your work. So this is going to be where all your assignments are. So you can see all the assignments that have been assigned and you can see all the assignments that you've done and that have been marked. So for example, this dummy assignment here, you've got 10 out of 15. And if you click on it, uh, you can also see that your teacher left a comment and you can also view the document as well. So this is the document that you did and these here are your teacher's comments. And you can also see you've got a little sticker there as well. So let's go back then. So any assignments that you still need to do, like this one here, it says assigned, you can click on it and then you can go into the document that your teacher has left for you. So if you open that, you have a blank document here and then you can just start typing away on the document. Okay. So let's go back again to our classroom. So this is your most important tab here. This shows you uh, your average grade and it shows you all the assignments that you've already done. You can even filter hit it here so you can hit assigned. These are all the assignments you've not done yet. Um, you can hit return with grade. So these are all the assignments that you have done and are graded and you can hit missing. So these are the assignments that you've forgotten to do or that you've not had time to do and they'll go into there. Um, another thing, if you're struggling with an assignment or something, let's say this essay here, um, I don't particularly like it and I can't work it properly. I don't know what to do. You can put a private comment to your teacher here, like, um, I don't understand. 
can you explain it? And you can send that to your teacher and your teacher will get that. Or you can add a class comment. Like So you've got some different options if you need a bit of support and you're not really sure. Okay, so let's go back to our assignments. And I'll just quickly show you how to complete an assignment and then turn it in. So let's take a look at this FCE assignment then. So you've got two ways to kind of complete and hand in an assignment. Either you can go view details. And you might see instructions here from your tutor. And like I said, you can comment if you don't understand anything. And then if your tutor has left you a document, go into that document and complete it there because it makes it easier for the teacher to grade it. If they haven't, you can go add or create and then you can start writing on a blank document here. So you've already been given a document, so open that doc. And then you can just start writing, blah, 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 blah. And then let's say you finish the document. So all you have to do is go up here and hit turn in. And then that will turn in your doc. And if we go up here to my teacher view, again, on my marks, I can see here that you, student, have turned in that document there. And then I can go and mark the document. And the only other tab you have left is people and on there will be your teachers and all your classmates and there you can email them separately or message them and talk to them. And that's everything for Google Classroom. So hopefully you're a bit more clear on that now. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you've got a question, feel free to comment underneath um, or you can go to your personal teacher and ask them if you're not sure about something. And that's everything for Google Classroom. So I'll see you in another video.